When creating a list in Adobe InDesign, one great way of spicing it up is using the paragraph shading option. In this video, I'll go over a simple method of applying paragraph shading to a list in this Instagram Stories design. Follow along and get a closer look at how to adjust the tint, set rounded corners, and apply offsets to the shaded list. So let's jump right into this video and get started. Here's a look at the Instagram stories post that I'm working on for a fictional concert called the Glow Tour, which is happening June 3rd through the 12th, 2024. I've highlighted the tour dates down below in a list using the paragraph shading technique. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. You'll notice in my pages panel, I've already gone ahead and duplicated the page. So I'm gonna jump over to page two. And next, I wanna place the list down below. So I'm gonna go up to file and go to place. And then I'm going to choose the text file, which I've made available for you. It's called concert list. Go ahead and open that. And here it is in my loaded cursor. Now I want to place it underneath the North American summer tour title here. So I'm just going to click on that left margin, drag and have it snap to the right side margin and then just release. Now it's much too small and the color is black. So we're going to fix that right now. I'm going to select all and I'm going to change the point size to 44. I'm also going to change the letting or line spacing to about 66 point. I'm going to change the font to Benton Sans Condensed. And in this case, I'm going to choose regular. Now I'm not going to need the North American Summer Tour title up here. So I'm just going to eliminate that. And then I'm going to Command A, Control A on Windows to select all. I'm going to go to my swatches panel. Let's have a look. I've already created three swatches here. One is called teal, one's called mint, and the other one's called deep green. Now I want the text to be deep green. So go ahead and click that. It makes it darker and it can't be red, but here's where we're going to fix that. So go ahead and select all again. And in this case, I wanna open the paragraph window. To access that, go up to type and let's choose paragraph. Here it is here. I'm gonna go up to the paragraph options. That's this icon in the upper right hand corner. And then I'm going to choose paragraph borders and shading. That's going to open up this window here and I'm going to click the shading tab and then I'm going to select the shading box here. Make sure that's checked on. Now by default, it's going to be set to black with a 20% tint. I'm going to change the color to teal and the tint, I want it to be darker than that. So I'm going to make it 80%. The next option is adjusting the corner size and shape. Now I want to change the shape to rounded. So go ahead and choose rounded. And then I'm going to change the pixels from 12 to 14. Let's make our way down to the offsets. And I'm going to check or uncheck this link. So I want to uncheck that because we're going to add values that are different for all four fields here. Let's start in the top. So the top will be six. Hit your tab key. That will take you to the bottom. That will also be six. Press your tab key and let's go to the left field and that will be eight. Hit your tab key and that will be eight. Now you can play around with these settings. If this is not good, go ahead and add more of an offset to the left and right or top and bottom. Remember, every list will be different. So just make sure that you're adding the right adjustments for you. Now we're not going to worry about any of the top edge, bottom edge or width. In this case, it's set to column, but let me show you how it would look if we had it set to the text. You can see in real time, it's going to adjust the shading to the text. Now, I don't want that. I want it to span across the entire column in this case. And then once you have those settings in place, go ahead and click OK. Now, I also want to shift command C to center the text in the list. Of course, you could go up to your control panel and just click the align center option here. Now, have a look. We have the shaded paragraph list, but I want to alternate the colors. So in this case, I'm going to select the second tour date in the list. And in the paragraph window here, I'm just going to change it from teal to mint. We can go ahead and do it for the others. Just alternate from teal to mint and teal to mint. And we got one more, the very bottom from teal to mint. So if I have a look now if I press W to turn my guides off. That is a quick and simple way of creating a list 
using the paragraph shading option in Adobe InDesign. Now, one final touch that I like to do is add a blend mode and adjust the opacity of the list. So I'm gonna click the text frame and then I'm gonna go to my properties panel and under the opacity slider, I'm gonna change that to about 85%. I'm also going to click the opacity option and under the blend mode, I'm going to change that to hard light. And you can see that that now blends into the image and you can start seeing the image through the list. It's just a nice final touch. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to use paragraph shading when creating a list in Adobe InDesign. For more helpful tips and tricks using InDesign, check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.